Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0 bonus material. And today, an exciting announcement was made. I know I've seen multiple posts across Facebook and elsewhere. When are we going to have the ability to create templates in DocuSign? And we now have that ability. So, wanted to kind of walk you through a little bit of what that looks like. Um, when you come into DocuSign from your KW Command Opportunities panel, you are brought into what's known as the rooms side of DocuSign. Um, in order to get to your templates, you're going to need to go to the e-signature side of DocuSign. So you can click on your face here on the top right hand corner and come over to e-signature, excuse me, e-signature side, switch to e-signature. And also this is the side that if you go directly to DocuSign.com, uh, you'll be brought into. So you can actually go to DocuSign.com, log in with your KW username and uh, password. And this is the, the side of DocuSign, if you will, that you're brought into. Um, if that ever happens and you want to get back into your rooms, you're just going to do the exact same thing, just switch to rooms. Okay. Uh, so we're going to dive into template and template making. The first thing we're going to do is click on templates here at the very top. And then obviously we need to create a new template. So I can click on here, create your first, or I can come over here to new if I already have some created. So let's click on new template and I want to create one. And that brings us into this first screen. So let's say um, I'm gonna do general information to buyers and sellers buyer version so this is a document that has to be signed on all of our um, all of our transactions here at kw platinum in houston and so this is the title of the document i'm going to come down and i have this document saved on my computer and so i'm going to come in and i'm going to find it here it is general information and notice to buyers and sellers now I'm putting this in as a buyer's version because I'm going to put in signatures for the buyers. I may come back and create one for a seller version and then I can drop in the signatures of the sellers. So we'll start that off. Uh, next we want to come down and we have to add recipients. And you can see the role is actually left blank. So I'm going to put in a buyer one. And I don't know who that buyer is or their email. So I'm just going to put in buyer one right now. That's going to be their name. I can add a recipient and I can put in buyer two and then I can come down and click on add recipient and that's going to be broker associate slash buyer's agent, whatever that looks like, right? Um, so we have the three different people that need to sign this particular document put in. Um, I can pre-template a message here. I'm fine with what this message says. If I want to pre-template an email message, I can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and come to next. And it's going to bring up this document. So you can see, you know, this is basically just a Texas document about all the things that could or possibly might go wrong. Uh, just make sure that you understand everything about the buying selling process, if you will. So up here at the top left hand side, you can see we have those three parties. It's buyer one, buyer two and broker associate. So I want to click on broker associate and I want to drop in the broker's printed name. So that shows up every single time. I don't have to retype that every time I bring in that document. So I can type in Keller Williams Platinum Realty and click off of it. I'm going to then click on this bottom right dot and come on. There it goes. Scroll over so that it fits all in one line. And then I'm going to drop in my signature, right? I'm the broker's associate, so I can bring over my signature. And there's enough room for that. And then I'm going to bring over date signed for my date signed. In addition, we've got the buyers. So let's click on buyer one up here at the top. We're going to drag in their signature and their date signed. And we'll do the same for buyer two. So I'm going to switch from buyer one to buyer two here at the top left. I'm going to drop in that signature and that date signed. Now, honestly, all this really did is save me from having to write out Keller Williams Platinum Realty every single time. So in this particular document, it's not a huge time save, and yet, you know, every minute counts. However, I'll show you the next one we're going to do is a document with a few more blanks that we can auto populate automatically and save us even more time. So I would click on save and close. 
and that's going to create that template. So now I have a template called general information to buyers and sellers buyer version. I am also going to do the broker notice to buyer tenant. So another document that we have to have filled out for all of our buyer transactions here in Texas. And so this one's going to be the broker notice to buyer tenant. All right, again, I have this document saved on my computer so I can click on upload. I can find that document and I'm gonna open it. This is a document that needs to be filled out by buyer one and by buyer two. and also by the broker associate or buyer's agent. Okay, so next I've got all those roles filled in. Again, I don't need to really do much with the email subject or message. I can click on next. And then I can come in right here's the broker notice to buyer tenant. Now you can see there are a few more lines that need to be filled in on this one. So I can drop in the date right that's going to be auto brought in broker sales agent name i'm going to bring in a text field and i'm actually going to fill in my name there signature i'm going to go ahead and drag over the signature now it's a little tall so i can click on this top right hand square kind of shrink it down a little bit and move it over so that there's room to see everything it's going to ask for company so i can push put in a text box there so that it always says Keller Williams Platinum Realty. And again, it's gonna be a little big, so I can click on it and drag it over so that it fits all in that one line. And then it asks for the address. So again, I'm kind of going in, these are the things that are gonna be pre-populated now on every form. So 19708 Northwest Freeway Suite. Well, it would help if I could spell, right? 2800 Houston, Texas. All right. Again, that's going to be a big box. So let's pull that all the way over so it fits on that line. And then finally, it's going to ask for phone number. So I'll drop in my phone number. Now, the nice thing is these this information is going to show up automatically every time. You can see how long this took me just doing this right now. Um, and now in the future, I won't have to worry about it because it's automatically going to fill in. Next, it's going to ask for, oh, you know what I just did? Look at that. So here's something not to do. And I'm just showing you in reality, right? Sometimes mistakes happen. I just did all of these fields as buyer one. I don't want all these fields as buyer one. I actually want them as the broker associate agent. So I can actually click on the field and I can come over and change the recipient name. So again, guys, mistakes happen. If this happens to you while you're filling out your template, it's pretty easy. Come over here and just change who the recipient of each one of these is going to be so that I get that uh, correct. So broker associate and then again, broker associate. All right, perfect. So now I need my buyer one's name. So I'm going to bring over tenant, buyer tenant name. I can drop that there. It's asking for the signature and I can drop the signature there. It's asking for buyer two's information now so I can drag in their name. Buyer tenant name. I'm going to drive over their signature. And then it asks for their address and phone number. I have two choices. I can actually have the client fill that in or I can fill that in and it's up to me to decide. So generally I have their address and phone number and I want to make sure it gets filled in. So I'm just going to put in a text box. I'm actually going to leave it blank though because that gives me the opportunity to fill it out when that document comes to me in email. So I'm going to leave both of these text box blank. So we have that kind of filled out, right? So now I can click on save and close. I have just created two templates, one for the broker notice to buyer tenant, one for general information to buyers and sellers, buyer version. So I'm gonna click on the face here in the top right. I'm gonna switch back over to my rooms account. And I have a kind of a test room here created from one of my test opportunities, but let's just say for example, this was the room that you were in. It is a buyer document. So you're going to come in here let's click on edit. And I want, let's see, it has seller one, seller two, listing agent, listing agent two. Now we're getting into buyers. So let's just say again, this was 
Donald Duck and Donald at duck.com. And then we've got Daffy. And again, you're just filling this in when you're in your room. I'm just doing this for you so you can actually see what it looks like uh, when it comes together. And then buyer agent one, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my name, although I may have to put this in a second time when we go to the documents, so at kw.com. All right, so I'll click on save that. And then, um, oh, it's asking for the, uh, the information on the actual details of the opportunity. So we're just gonna click on envelopes. And let's say we wanted to send off those particular two documents to get signed. So we would wanna start a new envelope and here's where you can bring in your templates. Okay, so I can click on use a template and I can say I want the broker notice to buyer tenant and I want the general information to buyers and sellers, buyer's version. I add those two and you'll see it's going to bring in those two templates into my envelope. I can title this envelope however I want. I'm going to add the recipients pre-tagged roles. And now you can see broker associate and my name is available for recipients. And then I've got buyer one. And it looks like even though I put that in the details because this is a specific uh, template, I'm just gonna put buyer agent to define and buyer two, buyer agent to de define. And we're gonna click on add selected. And then you can see I have the now the ability to, I don't need, the buyer agent, so I can click on X there. And then buyer one was Donald Duck, and his email was donald at duck.com. And this is Daffy Duck and Daffy at duck.com, right? So we've got all that information put in. Now the next step, and we'll see the work that pays off. We're gonna get into those documents, and you'll see the pre-templated information that we have already put in should show up as long as we did our templates correct. So now you can see here is that information, general information to notice to buyers and sellers. We come down to the bottom. Typically I would have had to write in Keller Williams Platinum Realty. That's already put in there. I've already assigned my signature and date because you can see my information here. Donald is already assigned to buyer one and Daffy is already assigned to buyer two. Same thing when we come down to broker notice, here's the date signed. All of this information is already filled out for me. And you can see because these two last boxes are assigned to me, I can come in, I can actually add their text, right? Because I might not have known their address and because their address is gonna change from client to client, you can't actually fill this in, you know, I don't know, Quack Florida, whatever. Um, you can't fill this out in advance. So I could drop that in. That information is now filled in and I could put in their phone number and boom, I have that field populated as well and I can click on send. It's gonna send it off. It'll send it to me for a signature for broker sales associate. It'll send it to Donald for his signature and Daffy for her signatures. And the thing is I didn't have to type all of this in myself. Now again, this is a, just three lines of text you can imagine as you continue to build out your templates, many of us have documents where, um, you know, there may be three, four, 10, 12 different lines that need to be pre-populated with the same information every time. And that'll help us on building out templates. So obviously not necessarily required, but just now an option available for you uh, within DocuSign, KDB Command has released the ability for agents to create their templates. So, Hopefully that is helpful. Um, I'm still learning more about how it's gonna impact my personal business and I hope it impacts yours as well. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thanks so much.